everyone. I hope you're having an awesome day. It's Friday, and I'm super excited for another 5-Pack Friday. Today, we're going to be checking out a Hot Wheels 5-Pack from way back in 1999. I recently purchased this, along with three other older 5-Packs on eBay. This is the Ocean Blasters 5-Pack, and it does have a couple of duds, but it also has three cars that are pretty sweet. Hang loose. We're going to dive right into the Ocean Blasters 5-Pack. I just want to show you quick on the back of the packaging what it was like in 1999. Unlike the new five packs that have pretty cool artwork on them, they had advertisements for other Hot Wheels products back then. You can see the advertisement for the City Center folding playset in the tune-up shop, part of Hot Wheels World, and also a certificate to get a free car through the Hot Wheels Birthday Club, which expired in March of 2000. I'm going to open this thing up and we're going to put them on the turntable and get a closer look at some of these vehicles. The first vehicle to start us off is the Hydroplane. The Hydroplane is a 1995 Larry Wood design. This casting had a pretty short run. The last mainline release was in 2002 and it finally sunk in 2005 with a final run edition. This Ocean Blasters edition is gray metal with black, white, and orange striping and that seahorse lettering. It has a Triton Racing logo on the top rear and a Hot Wheels logo on the spoiler. The base is black plastic. The cockpit is chrome and it's covered by that orange canopy. The engine in the rear is chrome as well. And this hydroplane sits on tiny rollers. Now we pick things up a bit with the Corvette Stingray 3. The Stingray 3 debuted in 1993 and it's apparently still in production, although we haven't seen an actual release since 2004. This casting is based on an actual concept core. Red is a super popular choice for a convertible, and that's what Mattel did here. The body on this casting is metal, and the tampa work is extensive. There are black doors with the company logo on the sides and hood. It says Enviro, Hydro, and Ostendorf testing equip. Honestly, the tampos seem a little random here, and I'm not sure if this is supposed to be a sponsored race car or like a company vehicle. The base is black plastic, and that massive windshield is tinted. Gold chrome three-spoke wheels match the tampo scheme pretty well, and the white interior finishes up the sporty look of the Corvette Stingray 3. Now this is a fun release. The 70 Plymouth Barracuda first showed up in 1997 in a bright lime green edition. Since then, it has made quite a few appearances, the last time as a multi-pack exclusive in 2017. There's also a hardtop edition of this casting, so if you're a collector, be sure to be on the lookout for those. This one's a pretty wild version. It's dark purple on a metal body with a chrome plastic base. The designers may have gone a little overboard with the tampos on this one. It has the outline of an octopus in white, along with multiple silver dots on a black background on the sides. You can see the Octopus Beach Rentals and Hot Wheel logo on the rear panels. The windshield is tinted and that interior is black in really nice detail. The Barracuda has the same three spoke rims as the Stingray 3, but these are silver chrome. This next piece is definitely the crown jewel of this collection, the Corvette Stingray. The Corvette Stingray is a Larry Wood design that goes all the way back to 1976, and there have been over 40 different releases of this casting, with the latest being in the 2016 mainline. The Ocean Blasters Corvette is a glossy white. The tampo scheme is black and blue wave pattern, and a Morin Surf Shop Express logo on the side. There are Hawaiian flowers and the Hot Wheels logo as well. The base is an unpainted metal, so this makes this a very solid casting. The blue tinted windows match the tampos, and the interior is blue as well. And once again, we have three spoke wheels in silver chrome. Last up is the Fathom This, which is sometimes known simply as Submarine. This is definitely the oddest vehicle in the set. When I saw the pictures of this set on eBay, I originally thought this was some sort of a bumblebee vehicle. One interesting thing about the Fathom This is that it was designed by Phil Rylman, and Phil Rylman has designed literally dozens of vehicles, and he's probably best known for bringing many awesome muscle cars to the Hot Wheels lineup, so I didn't really associate him with this type of fantasy car. The Phantom This has a bright yellow metal body with two black and two yellow propellers. They alternate in color and decrease in size going back to the black plastic tailpiece. It has a solid black window and no interior. It does have black landing skids with rescue unit painted on them. 
I think it's sort of an interesting piece, but with only six releases out there, I don't think it was wildly popular. That's the 1999 Hot Wheels Ocean Blasters 5-Pack. If you can find it at a good price, it's a great way to add a few nice variations to your collection, especially those Corvettes and that Barracuda. Hope you had a good time checking out this older pack. I definitely enjoyed showing it to you. And if you did, please consider subscribing. It's free and it's easy. All you have to do is push that button down at the bottom. Thanks for watching, and until I see you next time, enjoy the ride.